Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, today's Mike O'Mara show is brought to you by our Amazon page. Please remember to shop Amazon, and when you do, go to MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon, or click the Amazon link on our website. It's the best way to shop, and the best way to support this program. Now, on with the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOMaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You know, we uh, we have a comedy partnership with our listening audience uh, that is uh, quite a bond. I think that's really... Have we the, uh, ever used that uh, phrase before? Comedy a, a partnership? Comedy, I love it. A comedy it. partnership. We do because, I mean, I, I kind of try to guess what's going to work, but, but the listeners are the people that will... Give me the kind of feedback uh, that that helps us along. So, but we do a lot of content. We do more content on a daily basis than I've ever done in my career. We're, mm-hmm. we're here every day. So sick of seeing you guys. But the thing we is, we can turn uh, off the Skype. Yes, we can just <laughs> so hear each coming other. in because Better. of that. I will do something that I guess we had a great time with, and uh, and I completely forgot about. One of those things was when we. Nameberry was what a website that was designed for people looking for kids. It was not. They weren't like Names. shopping for children. It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a, a name thing. website. Yeah, right? where it gave you the most popular names, what names mean, all that stuff. And although we loved the content of children naming their, I mean, children being named, and there were great names in there like you know Laser and Colt. Yeah, but right. What charmed us was the name of the website itself. Name Barry, because one of us speculated about the fact that it was probably it would be a great name for a um, a how would I describe it a a character on a sitcom. It started as a cartoon always was, character, always was screwing up, kind yeah. of a kind of a dumb character. It evolved from a live sitcom. on the air. I think it. Um, it's about a year ago, and uh, actually, I found it by going on Google and searching "Name Barry Mike O'Mara." It ah. pops right up, so you can hear it. You can <laughs> so hear you the segment to it. I did. I did. Mike, I, I, we I didn't listen to it. I just read the emails last. Funny. Time. <laughs> <laughs> we killed. Oh, we murdered it. Like, He's name Barry, and then name Barry comes into the uh, you know the the standard sitcom room, right? And uh, and everybody you know and gets the uh, the, you know, the, the the canned applause that uh, and laughter that everybody has. So I was thinking last night so much so about this because I had so many emails about this that I contacted Rob and I said, you know what? It really w- if we took it a step further, like you're doing the jingles, and then I do right. the little slug lines Catch for phrases, name Barry, yeah. and then I, and then uh, Oscar comes in, he wants to play too, and Pony probably wants to play with. Like, He's name Barry stubs his toe a lot, yeah. you know that type of thing, and it's just name Barry, and then name Barry. I got so into it last night, and I was so bored with the uh, the debate because uh, it's just the same old, same old. Did you turn off actually... the debate because no. they did name Barry jokes in the third part of it? <laughs> name, name Barry. Uh, and here's the thing: I wanted to create a voice uh, for Name Barry, and I just uh, what Name Barry is is kind of a, a slow witted character with just a trace of an accent, and we really don't know. But where he it means comes well. From. I mean about all the time. Yeah. And that's what gets him in trouble. I'm Name Barry. <laughs> I would say Hi, every everybody. half hour episode of the show, Name Barry, it involves him trying to help out and just not getting there. Really? And all that crazy, all the crazy, crazy circumstances yes. he gets himself into. He's got a neighbor, he's too. Name Barry. He is Name Barry. Because he's Name Barry. Let's bring Name Barry in, right? Hey, Name Barry, <laughs> come on in, even though I did the voice before. Come on in, Name Barry. <laughs> Back. I did it. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Name Barry now on your fourth season on ABC. Hello. How, how are you doing? I'm okay. Would it be okay if I were to sing your theme song? Sure. Let's do the get. Let's do the bit. Let's get right to it. Shall All right. We? Here we go. He's Name Barry. <laughs> lost in a grocery store. Somebody <laughs> put my necklace in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how the show works, you see? I like it. You do? And, and he's there's... looking at the camera every time. He's like, somebody put my necklace in the toilet. And there's no limit to what can happen. For example, <laughs> right. he's named Barry. I don't tie my shoes. Who burned the stuffing? <laughs> <laughs> so every week it's a new adventure. Every week it's a different name, Barry. Don't cough up a lung when you're doing it. He's like... named <laughs> Barry. Hey, who unplugged the television? I guess I have to go to the drugstore again. <laughs> He's named Barry. I cut my nails too short. I can't feel my feet. 
<laughs> Sometimes the catchphrase matches with the theme, and that's yeah, just does. luck. It really Absolutely. is. Yeah. Absolutely. He's named Barry. He has a bowler haircut. <laughs> I can't. Why is this seat so sticky? <laughs> He's named Barry. I don't know why he put a granola bar up there. Who wants grapes? <laughs> He's named Barry. <laughs> fell off the rock wall. Oh, no. God. These aren't my sneakers. <laughs> He's we named... have no idea where he's from, no, but he no. has an accent of some and, 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 oh, He means well. That's the of thing course. that's so important. He's Absolutely. named Barry. I have a podcast. <laughs> Everybody quiet. I'm reading my book. <laughs> Walking down the street. Who you going to meet? It's named Barry. Confused by digital clocks. <laughs> <laughs> Time for milk. <laughs> <laughs> He's named Barry. <laughs> now you're making me do it. Now you're Sorry. making me hack it up. He's named Barry. Woke up from a horrifying dream about cows. My tummy <laughs> feels like soup. <laughs> <laughs> He's named Barry. Sure. <laughs> Hey, so do you want to give somebody else one? Anybody want to do a jingle? Come I on, Oscar. Do I'll it. give you right, some Oscar. international flavor. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right. Es name, Barry. No tiene pantalones. <laughs> oh, not chicken again. <laughs> Pony, you want to weigh in? He's named Barry, and he can't open a bottle of pills. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I can't stop this itching. <laughs> He's named Barry, opened all the sodas at once. <laughs> Who hit the colored pencils? <laughs> we are, and I think it's important to point out that we are walking a very, very delicate line here. And yet, with named Barry, I'm just going to say he has the trace of an accent. That, that's, all right? all that's, all. that's all Absolutely. he has. That's yeah. all he has. Absolutely. Yep. He's named Barry. Why won't this heal? <laughs> Looks like I'll be sleeping in the car again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's named Barry. We haven't seen him because he's lost. <laughs> Looks like I always say, or like I always say, you better smell it first. <laughs> Everybody come outside. It's stupid time. <laughs> Who doesn't like a buffet? That's not what I keep in my toolbox. <laughs> Looks like I'm sleeping in the tent again. <laughs> Why are they all scared of me? I still have pimples. You didn't tell me it was poisonous. Let's paint the walls again. I'd like to watch potty. I think there's sand in my hole. Wow. That was like a clip show. Yeah, just uh, thought I'd throw one in there. Give me another jingle, Rob. Here we go. He's, He's named name. Barry. I like to drink toilet flax. <laughs> I forgot to feed the fish. Oh. <laughs> I'm named Barry. My feet are surprisingly clean. Stop screaming or you'll scare the priest. <laughs> <laughs> He's named Barry. I can eat a light bulb. Why are my fingers so fat? <laughs> He's named Barry at the corner store. Swapping medications. <laughs> I got a bad eye. <laughs> You're right. I did eat the oven mitt. <laughs> And let's wrap it up. We'll wrap it up now. All, All right, right, one last, last one. jingle for name, Barry. Here all we right. go. Mm -mm. Let's get this one right, Mike. All right? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Because this, Could what we you... all do one? Sure. Okay. All right. All right, you want to go no, first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. He's named Barry. He untied his belly button. <laughs> How come everybody else gets to make babies? <laughs> That's, uh, that, that's, that's quite enough of that, ladies and gentlemen. We can actually start the show now. I think it might be a good ahead. idea. There go. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. We're on the entertainment capital of the world. When, when, did, when did you leave? January 21st, 1965. Oh, God. You, you remember this? Thursday. It's very snowy out. 7.2 inches. Snow that day. Is that just after mom died, New Year's? Yeah, yeah, mom died. 
January 5th, 1965. And you remember uh, that day? You remember that day that you left? Short, short and sudden illness. You remember that day yeah. that you left? Yeah. But was I there? Where was I? Where, where, you, you, you were in the window. You, you waved to me. Bye-bye, Rain Man. Bye-bye, Rain Man. You were the one that sang to me? Yeah. Can yeah. I like you when you sang to me? Yeah. Can we sing any other songs? Do you like the Beatles? Yeah. Uh, Michael Mara Show. Michael Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, and now here's Mike. The preceding had nothing to do with the opening bit. No, no, things Thank they, you. they live in blocks, Mike. Uh, we are <laughs> exclusive live. of each other. God, play that that they were doing Mainbury live <laughs> from the Pfeiffer Room in the heart, in the heart of our nation. He capital. untied his belly button. <laughs> Washington <laughs> DC. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Mike O'Mara Show on the air and online everywhere. The Mike O'Mara Show is a daily radio and internet broadcast with the greatest listeners in the universe because they get it. That's right, La- name Mary. Uh, our phone lines, uh, if you're here, you'll get it too. Our phone lines, well, we, they were open yesterday. Uh, when we're on, you can call us anytime. Our show today is brought to you by the good people at FanDuel. Yes. And I'm in. I'm in this week. I am in the league. The Me too. TOS Listener League. I'm very excited about it, and I am very, very optimistic, uh, as I always am, each week with FanDuel. We've been talking about it on uh, TMOS for a while. FanDuel is still the best, and let me tell you why. Uh, If you think you won't win, or maybe you think you're no match for the guys who have been playing longer than you, relax at FanDuel. There's always a fair and level playing field. There are beginner contests for rookies only, experienced player badges, so you know who you're up against, and uh, more single entry contests. So they have many different varieties of contests that you can join into, and it makes your uh, viewing experience of sports just better. Just plain better. It does. I love watching the NFL because once my game that I'm particularly interested in is over, I can actually enjoy the rest of the contest because I'm playing FanDuel. Custom features mean more fun, more excitement, and more accessibility like Friends Mode, where you can challenge your buddies in a private league. And speaking of private leagues, you can play against us. Access our TMOS league at FanDuel.com slash TMOS. Is it filled yet? It probably is. No, 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 no. We have a few few slots slots left. left. I've got a few slots left. Awesome. So uh, if you want to play us this week in FanDuel, go to TMOS TMOS slash, uh, that's FanDuel.com slash TMOS. Try FanDuel now. Get up to $50 in free entries. New users who deposit will get five free entries to NFL 50-50 beginner contests valued at up to 50 bucks. You'll get one free entry a week for five weeks. The value of free entries varies on deposited amounts. Go to FanDuel.com, click the Join Now button, and use the code TMOS for five free entries. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Promo code TMOS. Void where pro Inhibited and, Thank you. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I was optimistic. We'll have uh, Nicky Diamond on uh, the show later on, and I'll he can uh, help you. Ask him about uh, you know the the week in fantasy football, and Nicky's kind of still pushing me both privately and uh, some of the other guys on the show to uh, have his own show. Yeah, or, it's a part or, or of does he want to network. join us? I always get confused. Well. So, yeah. uh, let me just say this. He has a master plan in place that he wants us to implement, implement. Okay. but stay with it. We'll talk to him about it. I don't also, think it's fair to talk about it without him there's here. There's an outside chance that we could run into an It's Mickey situation. Yes. Because, you yeah, know, yeah, I, I agree. It's a lot of work building these these network shows. Yeah. No, yeah we'll it's not like you can fly it. out to Pahrump and set no, them up. No, no, no. Well, Mickey had, you know, was the host at a morning show for years and years. And so, yes. But know, then there was that incident. That record. incident. Yes. Yeah. This is true. We'll find out. Mickey, Nikki. Why is it all the I-C-K-Y guys? I know, right? Why is that? Uh, That's why anyway, we never hired Dickie. anyone named Dickie, right? <laughs> but we'll talk, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll talk fantasy uh, football with him later on today. And uh, right now, because we were behind because of Nameberry, it's time to uh, open up the mailbag because it's not about us, ladies and gentlemen. Inevitably, on the Mike O'Mara Show, it's all about it's you. all 
about you. Barry. It's all about you. Name Barry. All the time. All these things that I do. It's oh, no. All about you. <laughs> Name Barry. It's all about you. All, all the time. What's I up? better stop picking it. <laughs> all right, so. He means well. That's the I sweet thing about him. Stop thinking no, about it. Anyway, no, no. Uh, uh, Rob Spiewak. Howdy there, Rob. Hey, hey, hey. Do we have any presents today? <laughs> uh, we do, Mike. Rob. We yeah, do. Thank you. Very uh, exciting. A lot of them are based on the fact that you are looking for books to read to your son, Michael. This okay. comes from Kiki K. This is... I, you know, hold on. Let me uh, let me sound a little better with that, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Okay. This is the uh, book. We had this read by Samuel L. Jackson some time ago oh, on the audio wow. vault. Go the F to sleep. Wonderful, wonderful So children's thank you, book. Kiki, for sending that along. <laughs> that's, and- that's wonderful. Thank you. I will share that, Kiki, with, uh, with my son <laughs> this, when he's this, 24. This gentleman from South Burlington, Vermont, never signs his name, so I have to go by the sticker that I peeled off the box. He sent a host of gifts. His name is Mark Mativier or Mark Mativier. I think if he's from that far north, it would be Mativier. Because I don't the- know, share we up not with the Canadians go. There we go. He's name Barry. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people don't know is like the office, there's a version of name Barry oh, in yeah. every country. Oh yeah. Bonjour! <laughs> Hello! Bonjour, I stubbed my toe again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really I have to discipline myself. Because I really could do it for the whole show. <laughs> Voici Nemberry. He looked at the Eiffel Tower and got the vertigo. Why is he growing so large? <laughs> All right. This guy, Mativier, has a big plan for you, Mike. It says, Dear TMOS, for Mike's next performance at Michael's preschool, in addition to reading a children's book, maybe Mike could read lyrics from a song with a similar subject matter. He could then ask the students to compare and contrast the book and the song. Yeah, that's a great thing. I'll do. I'll get right on that with a three-year-old preschool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to have them writing essays at age three. Mike could start mm-hmm. with reading this book, It's Raining, which he sent along, by mm-hmm. prolific children's nonfiction author Gail Gibbons, and okay. then follow up the reading with the lyrics to Rain is a Good Thing with the included CD by licorice hat-wearing Luke Bryan. Oh. oh. Copies enclosed idea. for your pleasure. I'll send all you this know. stuff down, Mike, as soon as I find a box big enough. Yeah, get right on that, Rob. And he also sent Say, all hey, sorts Rob, of hey, maple candy. Send that to me right away. You bet, Mike. All right, thank you. He's named Barry. Uh, he <laughs> sends too much stuff to a radio show. Uh, <laughs> Look what I left in the bathtub. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Name Barry. Sorry. But thank you, Mark, for also sending all sorts of maple-inspired candies from the, cool. uh, the oh, uh, eastern that's so sweet. part you, of our kind. country. So good thank guy, good guy. Thank you very, very much. And uh, is uh, the uh, the present box empty now? Yes, close the vault. No more right. presents today. Hey, everybody, we have a new youngest listener. Hey. Welcome to our world. Welcome to my world. Cyrus David Ryan of Morgantown, West Virginia, oh, born October 15, 7 pounds, 12 ounces, 21 and a half inches long, just about the size of my son, uh, and just about the weight of my son, too. Mother and baby are doing very, very well. Uh, Anthony Nagel would like to remind us that fantasy football guru Government Cheese just had a birthday. So this guy is, like, so popular with his fantasy picks that uh, he, he wants to be referred to as his uh, well, I fantasy wasn't going football to in- name. I wasn't going to include it, but I'll mention it here. Anthony Nagel called Happy Government birthday. Cheese his work husband. Oh. So they're apparently quite close. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, he just had a birthday. Nice. And light him up. Light them <laughs> up. <laughs> October 18th was Aaron Thomas's 42nd birthday. Uh, here's an editor's note. Elvis was 42 when he died. Thanks for putting that in there, Rob. Always like to remind uh, folks that. He'd love a funny birthday greeting from Pony, the king of uh, one-liners. Excuse me. Uh, do you have a uh, Do you have a birthday greeting for uh, Aaron Thomas, Pony Boy? Because he's Aaron, and he's going to get diarrhea from cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's the king, Mike. Pretty damn yes. good. Name Barry. That's Everybody's got it king. on the brain. John Cooper turns 26 tomorrow. His father told us this. He also said, John has no girlfriend. Gee, thanks, Pop. <laughs> there you go. Hey, there's Dad doing it for him. Uh, Daniel Rise is about to turn 36, and all he wants is to become a Kentucky Colonel. Um, yeah, good luck with that. There you go. <laughs> Tab, if you want to make uh, Daniel a Kentucky, I don't think Tab knows Daniel Rise. Well, but... no, you see, the thing is, any Kentucky Colonel 
can nominate another Kentucky can Colonel. However, it's a lot of paperwork. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now on to the letters. <laughs> No, you know what? I, I think if this guy really, really wants to uh, to be a Kentucky Colonel, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give him uh, I'm gonna give him a little help here. I suggest he find a Kentucky Colonel and befriend him. I think that'd be nice. I mean, I know there's many of them on Facebook. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's a big state, huge state. Hello, all. Is our first letter. <laughs> I uh, wanted a birthday mention for my box wife Donna Pico, who turns. 52 on November 7th. When we first met, she had no idea what TMOS was, but she knew what you guys meant to me. Aww. So when the gang came to Reno, she surprised me with tickets, and when the show came back, she surprised me with tickets again. I can now say she gets it, and as of August, we are now annual bonus show subscribers. It would mean the world to her if Salad Fingers could uh, wish her a happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much for keeping up the funny. That's Tommy Pico, husband of Donna Pico. Uh, that's the Pico family, ladies sure. and gentlemen. Uh, now, we have hold to spin on. for this? Uh, yeah, you go ahead and spin. Because I've got a slimy, gotta, rusty we have coin. A, here. All right. <laughs> we have standards here. We truly have standards here. So. Yeah, we do. Green monster, green monster, green monster. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. All right, Here we go. Dudes. Summon him with his music, please. Okay. Boo. All right. Donna Pico. I'm going to rub my finger on this rusty kettle. Stop it! <laughs> Let's listen, shall we? That didn't sound... <laughs> that, that did not sound... <laughs> Salad, do you need a manicure? <laughs> I don't know. You have nubs? <laughs> What's going on? He's I Salad Fingers. He didn't get the sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I effed it up. Goodbye. I'm leaving now. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. That didn't work. That did. I was. I was really trying to get the sound of metal, and I thought a ceramic mug of uh, tea on a microphone would do it. And it ended up sounding like marbles. You know? It's just like the golden days of radio. Let's let's let him try it again. Hold on, oh, just no. a second. Let, let's uh, let's let's bring him back in here, shall we? Come on now. All right. Hold on. Oh, Sally, you're back. Hey, Sal. What up, buddy? Hello. Hey, Hello. I'm rubbing the rusty kettle. <laughs> Donna Pico. Now, I'm going to take a knitting needle uh. and put it right through me finger. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well done. Swear to God, it's the not ready for primetime players today, isn't that's it? Right. Hey, it's wow, raining outside. Somebody that's, shake the metal. That's it. Thank you, Tommy Pico. Uh, greetings and salutations, my good sirs. My name is Fernando Navarrete. Uh, na Navarrete. 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 My name. My name. He's Fernando Navarrete. I love your show and have been a loyal listener since 1995. On October 21st, 2016, my daughter, Ariana. Pretty. Ariana Navarrete will turn 20 years of age. Uh, she has already moved out and is attending college while working part-time. I started playing the TMOS podcast for her when she was a freshman in high school. I would say that's a fine age to start someone on the show. 14 years old? Works. I think yeah. that's about right. Yeah. Sixth That's grade. That's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, Sooner freshman than in high school. Uh, it became a ritual. We listened uh, while we prepared dinner and cooked. There is no better way to bond than with food and laughter. I, I agree. agree. Uh, I would be forever grateful if Mike and Rob could take an amount, uh, a moment rather, to give 
Ariana, Ari, some sound advice on college life in their finest, kindest, most perfectly exaggerated and precisely engineered German accents. Uh, we are getting the, I just should have been. I, I really, I should have gone to a dressing room before the show. Today. I know. <laughs> we hook up the marionette uh, strings to you today. She, uh, she took four years of German in high school and uh, signed up for the foreign exchange program, subsequently visiting Hamburg, Heidelberg, Frankfurt, Konigstein, and Kelkheim. Kelkheim. Uh, so, uh, can one of you Germans please use your big German meat hooks to uh, give a pull on the infamous TMOS comedic gambling machine of jest? Uh, many thanks for your time and for feeding me a steadfast diet of rich comedy for over two decades. My belly is full of is full. Love you guys. Jesus Christ. Sincerely, Fernando Navarrete. What All a right. great letter, though. Here's a, ten, nice. Mike, yes, a ten mark you, coin. <laughs> That's Oscar helping me out here. That's right. You're right. <laughs> uh, okay. Couldn't agree more. That's right. And the books will be there tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. Let me drop this uh, ten mark coin and see how we do. Leader Hosen, Leader Hosen, Leader Not a progressive, though. Didn't uh, make sorry, it progressive. Nothing. Uh, what is her name? What's her name? What's, uh, don't what's you remember name? what her name must be? It is Ariana. 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 Oh, it's so good that she got the chance to spend some time in Heidelberg, no? Uh, oh, you know, I have folks in Kelka. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess her father, uh, Ferdinando, or Fernando wants to give some advice about college life, right? Well, this is my advice, and this is very important, is when every class comes, be on time! Be on time! Your professors will be very angry with you if you do not get into the classroom on time and sit in the right seat. Huh? Uh, many of the classes you'll take will be pass fail. Yeah. <laughs> and I would also say uh, you ought to be very careful with the drinking of the beer because some campuses are dry and some people only find that out when they are 57 years old and are going to a reunion that they paid a lot of money for a plane ride to. Uh, Miss Actors are referring to... Yeah. The American yeah. University? Oh, uh, dry campus. It's a dry campus. I don't like it. It's einen dry campus. Yeah. What you People. should do is have yeah. a beer in a large stein with a lid on it. And then yes. you can open the lid and drink the beer. That's right. So I would have to say, Ariana, if you are going to the college, please make sure you get that fake identification. <laughs> Give a fake identification and kept your name and name is a fake name. We'll call you Eva Kraus. <laughs> Eva Kraus. Oh, hello, Eva Kraus. Welcome. Now you can come into the adults-only beverage drinking place. Oh, huh? the beer garden. Look, here's Eva <laughs> Kraus. You do not look 59 years old. Congratulations, Ariana. You will live life just like in the Mike and Einan O'Mara who had all of his college days in a giant alcoholic haze. Don't forget, afterwards, you can always go to another place and drink. Until then, it's ginger ale for you. Never. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. All right. Uh, I'm moving right along. Nice. Thank you, and uh, congratulations. Uh, hi, TMOS crew. I just finished listening to last week's bonus show, and I was wondering if any of you Googled deaf woman orgasm. <laughs> okay. We're not going there on no. the regular no, show. No, no, no. How uh, dare they? Anyway, uh, um, that would be weird. Thanks for your uh, service to humanity. PJ from St. Louis, Missouri. St. The Louis. show me state. Some perv right out yeah. in the middle of the show me state. Disgusting. That's a man I who uses you. his pause button. Let me just say, if you don't subscribe to the bonus <laughs> show, uh, I'll just say this about Oscar's complete. Uh, it was really all Oscar last week it on was. the bonus show. It was the Oscar show. And I, I, I couldn't take enough showers to get that show off of me. Okay? That's, that's the the way I look at that. And I want, to, I want to clarify, Mike took the showers to cleanse himself, not yes. for any other reason. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hi, Mike. Here's our next letter. Uh, regarding your hockey seat, yes. I work for an architectural firm. Mike is not crazy. The seating in stadiums, auditoriums, etc., vary in size to make up the end-to-end -end length along the arc correctly, and in some cases to fit more in a row. They uh, vary the width of the seats. They are between 18 and 22 inches. In the luxury boxes, they sometimes make them 24 inches. Uh, that comes from uh, Patrick Misich. Now, think and about so that. A four-inch difference in a seat width? That's massive. Oh, it's, four inches is everything, especially if you're sitting in those seats. Exactly. Yeah. So that especially makes sense, if, Mike. Especially if you yourself are massive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are. Uh, TMOS, a longtime listener, first time writer. My nephew Joe Ham recently married a yoga instructor. I was wondering if Oscar has any relationship advice that he can share with Joe in order to help foster a long and mutually enriching relationship. I'll stop writing and listen to what you say now. Hobble do gobble, Phil Ham, 
JMHS class of 85 of the famous Vienna Hams. (laughs) (laughs) P.S. Pat's the best. I went to high school with the Hams. I always like to mention that. So, hi, Oscar, you're engaged to a yoga instructor. What, uh, What advice do you have for the Hams? I would say that if you expect less, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> what a lovely sentiment. That's so nice. Let's rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> expect less and get more. There we go. Yeah, there you yes. go. Yes. Hey, kind of a you know, variation of my own personal philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, men. Here's the next letter. Men, next Monday is my birthday. 51 decrepit years. Let's be honest. By this point in life, there's really no chance that anyone is ever going to look at me and say, what a cool dude. But at least I can feel like one if y'all could mention my day this week. By the way, while you're at it, my birthday buddy, Kelly Applegate, shares the same birthday. I have no idea how old she is because I only know her on Facebook. So a shout out to her would probably be well timed as well. This guy is all over the map here, isn't he? Is, he is, but he sure is. does love the show. But again, he's also 51. And my advice to him, if you want to be considered a cool guy, stop using the phrase y'all. Y'all, thank you. Uh, Thanks for another year of great entertainment. I look forward to each new show. We love you, Will Johnson, and a happy birthday to you and to your buddy, Kelly Applegate. Which, to me, is one of the the all-time cool names of listeners that we have. Kelly Applegate. Kelly Applegate. Oh, Oh, yeah. Starring Kelly Applegate as Name Barry's Mom. Oh, she was great. (laughs) She had to put up with everything. (laughs) She was a yoga instructor, you know. (laughs) Someone stole my finger paint. (laughs) All right, sorry about that. Uh, Hey, guys, my two sons, Al, who turned 14 on Monday. You don't think of a 14-year-old named Al. No. Hey, Al. Hey, Al. You got it all over me, Al. Hey, Al, take the trash out and clean out the cat box, Al. And uh, Michael, who is 11 on October 10th, would love a birthday greeting from all of you. They love TMOS. I replay the shows during the weekend while I'm cooking and cleaning, also known as keeping my scholarship. <laughs> See, you have a tremendous influence. Uh, yeah. you know, you've only been with me relative to everybody else a short period of time, Oscar, but look at the influence you have. On I'm people. making you my should mark. Be proud. Uh, and they saunter in to hang out and listen. They beg to listen to the bonus shows. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love these kids. Al, you I cannot love- listen to the bonus show, Al. <laughs> Especially last week. Could you week, imagine please. them going to the lunchroom and oh, telling their no. friends what they heard last oh, week? That's no, right. No, no, oh, no, my no. God. Uh, okay. For now, I think I'll keep those as mommy's little secret. Mommy, I agree 1,000%. <laughs> Thank you all for making my days better and for helping us all laugh together. Christina Granata Peterman. And uh, every time I hear that, I think of Seinfeld when uh, Peterman... Yeah, Mr. Peterman. Jay Peterman. Elaine, thank you. Yes, Oscar. It's important that we highlight that she respects the scholarship. Yeah, she respects the scholarship. Yeah. I can't argue with mm. that. That's uh, that's truly awesome. He's named Barry. He disrespects <laughs> the scholarship. <laughs> it's bleeding again. <laughs> well, let's to face write him it. Down, Rob. I did, we, we didn't have to write anything down, right? Let's, let's it face happen. it. Name Barry does really deal with a lot of scholarship issues. <laughs> <laughs> Our next letter says, oh, my God, we're running so late. Dear Mike, Rob, and Oscar, if uh, I want to join you at the Mad Hatter on November 5th, what time will you guys be there? 5.30 is the time you want to be there. I would get there uh, before 5.30, though, if you want to get a seat. 5.20. (laughs) 5.20. 5 o'clock. All right, that's uh, Oscar's uh, time and Rob's time. Get there at noon. Good. Thank you. That's right. Uh, your bonus show ad says that we should get the bonus show because five hours a week just ain't enough. Unfortunately, it is taking me 6.5 hours to listen to the five daily shows. Is that this is a needy letter right here? No, this, this is a this, this is, is a, a funny. A very, this is a good letter. You're gonna like it's this. taking me 6.5 hours to listen to the five daily shows. Is there a button on the TMOS app that will get rid of everything that Oscar says in order to get us down to five hours? <laughs> what? Please and How five. <laughs> Keep the funny Steve Goldsmith. Oh, that is so. They're so cruel. It's they're right, cruel Mike. like we are. It's We've the, taught them. It's these yes. beaten men. That's right. I know. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> we've taught them to be cruel. Mike, Rob, and Oscar, in early August, I left my job of four years without another job lined up. My family and friends were horrified. How could I leave a well-paying job without future plans? It was scary, but deep down I knew it was the right thing to do. I was exhausted. I am tired. 
Uh, after two months of interviews, good and bad, self-reflection, lots of questioning my decision and many emotions, I'm in the final stages of where I will land next. The one constant through all of this experience has been the Mike O'Mara Show and the More Network. Your shows have provided me daily laughs and a reprieve from networking, online job searches, and HR questions such as, what is your greatest strength and weakness? Boo. Oh, yeah. So disgusting. Uh, thank you for making me laugh. Laughter is the best medicine, and your shows have been very healing for me. You are all the best. Be well, Missy Booker. Well, good luck, That's Missy. Nice I hope you thank do you, well, Missy. you know. And uh, Missy, you just uh, you be a good girl, Missy. Hey, no. have a good job. I hope you get a good job there, Missy. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> I got news for you, Missy. You know, Missy was a character on the Nameberry show, as a matter of fact. Missy yeah. was the neighbor. Yeah, it was the neighbor. Missy. Yeah. yeah. Missy Longstocking. Yeah, and right? she was played by the uh, secretary from Ferris Bueller. <laughs> right. I didn't touch her there. <laughs> oh, my God. He's named Barry, hiding <laughs> pencils in his neighbor's hair. <laughs> 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 Friends, as I reported to you guys several months ago, the historic El Taco building on Route 28 in Manassas has been gutted and renovated into a combined Baskin Robbins Dunkin' Donuts franchise. You know what? Look, with no disrespect to those fine American institutions, yes. if I have to see another building go belly up with a local business that they pop in a shit donuts hey. and a shit ice hey. cream store, How dare I'm you. sorry. I, I just am not a fan. To my surprise and delight, I noticed the other day that an El Taco sign had what? appeared with the new Baskin Robbins Dunkin' Donuts sign on the road. I thought, what could this mean? This story is getting better every minute. It's growing hair, Mike. I drove in and confirmed that the southern one third of the building one third was not occupied <laughs> and had a sign posted on it declaring El Taco coming soon. <laughs> Wow, they made a deal. Uh, so you will still have a quality joint to lunch at with friends. What am I defending El Taco for? Uh, whenever you're back in good old Manassas, Ron in Yorkshire. Well, wow. you make an assumption there that might be incorrect, Ron. Uh, you're assuming I will ever be back in Manassas. <laughs> yeah, you could get Thank lost. You. Ways Thank could you screw you much. up, and you could be yeah. right there and go to what we like to call the taco. Mike, uh, you know what? I, uh, that's that's not right. I shouldn't say it because there's every possibility in the world that at some point I'll go back and visit friends. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, have, they have a confection at the Baskin Robbins Dunkin' Donuts combination yeah. where they have a donut as the cookie layer and then the, any ice cream flavor you want as the inner cookie. But you see, Baskin Robbins is great ice cream. But every I'd Dunkin' see, there Donut, I would, I would make a case for you that it is not great ice cream. Oh, I love almond fudge. I love it. You know what? They, I am my sorry. Go-to. I, mm. I, I I believe they uh, they are not as flavorful as other ice creams. But that we could do a whole are show you a on Carvel that. Carvel guy? Uh, I'm not a Carvel person. I like uh, Independence. I like uh, you know. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I like her, I like Hershey ice cream. Oh. It's good ice cream. It's good, it's good ice, ice cream. cream. Okay, we're running late. <laughs> can we move, please? <laughs> we can. Uh, hi, Mike. It's your old pal and fellow AU alum, Alan Wenzel. Yay! Uh, I will not be attending any of the reunion activities this weekend because I will be going to see Fallout Boy in concert with my new bestie, Rob Spiewak. Yay. He's so great. Are you really? WTF. You... He's so great. Uh, <laughs> Alan makes me laugh. I'm glad he made me his new friend. We are very excited about the concert. There will be alcohol there. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoy yourself. Stay hydrated at the reunion. Have a diet Pepsi on me. Alan Wenzel. <laughs> That's all for now. Rob, start the show, you hump. Oh, my God. Oh, go to commercial. We're going to go to commercial. Right. Do you we'll want to do, right do Nikki now. when we come back? Yeah, we'll do uh, Nikki Diamond with Fantasy Football coming up. Wow. Put this one in the time capsule. We'll be right back. <laughs> Men, are you tired of radio? All those yakety yaks filling your heads with nonsense day in, day out? After a long day at work, don't you just want your pipe and slippers and some measurable entertainment? Well, here at More Industries, we strive every day to make podcasts that bring the funny. Take the Mike O'Mara Show and the Bonus Hour, for instance. This joyful bantering of ball-busting humor lightens the load of your drudging life. 
Over here, we see our newest machine, the DGH-4000. It can crank out 50 jokes an hour. Let's see what it says. Hobble-doo-gee. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, back to the drawing board. TMOS and more industries. Making the funny just for you. Welcome back to the Michael Maris Show. Uh, I want to tell you about something that has changed my life. I love my pet net smart feeder. Oh, so cool. I love this. Studies show that if you feed your cat or dog the right amount every day, they will live longer. But how do you know? It's easy now. Hey, Beluga, get ready for calorie counting. The PetNet Smart Feeder, it's the new smartphone-controlled automatic pet feeder that personalizes your pet's daily calorie intake based on age, weight, activity level, and uh, food type. That's Beluga, my pug, in the background going, no! Oh, he's going to live forever now, Mike. Yeah, he is. Uh, You use the free app to schedule and monitor all of your pet's meals on your smartphone so they even get fed when you're running late. And, uh, you know, by the way, today was a great example of that. We're running around. Right. Carla's got to go somewhere, take the little guy to school. I'm getting the show together. And the pet feeder is there. The PetNet Smart Feeder feeds the dogs automatically. We all love our pets, their family, and the PetNet Smart Feeder makes sure they eat right every day. Shop PetNet.com slash TMOS. Do it today. And the shipping is free. Remember, these things are popular. And uh, since the PetNet Smart Feeder is produced in a limited quality uh, quantity each month, uh, you need to get yours before they sell out. Get your PetNet Smart Feeder plus free shipping by going to ShopPetNet.com slash TMOS. That's ShopPetNet.com slash TMOS. Find pet owner peace of mind at ShopPetNet.com slash TMOS. Now, who's a good boy? Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. We are running so late, but we've got to get Nikki Diamond in here right now. It's time to talk a little fantasy football with the uh, the guru, the man that knows everything there is to know about fantasy football from Pahrump, Nevada. Let's welcome again Mr. Nikki Diamond, and we're calling him as we speak. Yes. Hopefully he'll be there. Busy man. He said he'd be there. We, we, we. Hey, Nick. hey, Nikki! Woo! Nikki, 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 Nikki! Hey, How, How are you, you Nikki? Ah, there we go. Oh. You sound like you're ready today. You yeah. sound like you're, you're up for it. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Nikki <laughs> Diamond! Yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh, okay. How are you? Very excited. I'm great. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we? <laughs> wow, listen to this. Listen yes. to this energy that's level. I love this. I love this new Nikki Diamond. That's that's awesome. How are how are things out in Nevada where they uh, they had the big debate last night? You uh you didn't uh, get anywhere near the University of Nevada Las Vegas, did you, Nikki? No, but I won $800 on that debate. <laughs> oh really? Wow. That's, wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool. I uh, big win I don't, for me. Yeah. I, I I won't ask you what you wagered on, Nikki. But no. uh, yeah, there there are a lot of things you can wager on almost anything. Prop bets. Hey, yeah. we're, just a quick question, Nikki. Did you take the under? I took the over on the lies. <laughs> <laughs> the over on the lies. I like that. He's ready today. He Nikki Diamond, you had your morning coffee today, didn't you? Oh, I sure did. Little Bailey's in there, Mike. You know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure do. I sure do. Oh, wow. Always a pleasure. And, Nikki, I will uh, I will share with you that we uh, we got your tape. Okay, and uh, okay. that's the only business I want to transact right now. But uh, the rest we'll do off air. But we did get your tape, Nikki. So thank you. You know, Mike. All right, let's let's hear it. I think. No, no, no. I, I, yeah. I mean, oh, it's God. it really is. The more network is about the listeners, is it not? <laughs> it is, Rob. <laughs> Don't you think we should give them a taste of Nikki's demo? <laughs> All right, Rob. All right, I, we didn't talk hey, about by this taste, before. I this think day. you mean the entire thing. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I did, let me just let I me, let me, cut let me it hold on, hold, hold, hold it, hold it. Let me bring the listeners up to speed. Um, okay. Last week, Nikki Diamond was alluding to the fact that he wants a show of his own on the More Network. He was very, very persistent about he that. He's been talking to us, and he took the time and effort to submit a demo tape. Uh, to wow. us now, uh, Nikki was booked. Just so people know, full disclosure, as a fantasy football handicapper, yeah. somebody who knows the game, an expert, uh, can Drew. help all of our listeners because a lot of our listeners play fantasy football on FanDuel, and that's why we brought Nikki in. Nikki has said that uh, he wants to get more involved in broadcasting, and so that's why he sent a tape that I was not going to play on the air. But apparently, Rob is pretty hot to trot to uh, play it. Well, so. I think really the only way to put it to bed is to let people hear the quality of the tape. All right, so Nikki, can you give us a can you yeah. give us a little back uh, backstory on this? What is uh, what are we going to be hearing here? 
Uh, this is just a little taste of what uh, the Nikki Diamond show uh, will will be. Uh, myself uh, answering a lot of questions. Uh, uh-huh. Really, the show's about the listeners, <laughs> not about three guys that just talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for that. I appreciate sure. that. All right, play play this uh, demo. Not oh, to that. You guys. All right, let's. Yeah, let's, okay. Play his demo, okay. please. Hey, right. everybody. Welcome to the Nikki Diamond Show. Fantasy guy in the know. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Nikki Diamond. This is uh, a Nikki Diamond Show on the Moore Network. Mike O'Mara, real exclu. No. Radio exclu. Entertain. Mike O'Mara, real Nikki, hold on, Nikki, Nikki, yeah, yeah. Nikki, hold on. Um, yes. I mean, I, not to be uh, hypercritical, but right out check, of the box. It's an air check. It is. I know it's an air check, Skimmer. but Nikki, you know, when you're going to lay something down like that and you're actually putting something out there to maybe get a gig, you actually want to kind of go back and re-record something that you that you screwed up, to be perfectly honest with you. No, no, no. Uh, right? I think people want real. This isn't the nightly news. They want to hear a real person. Nikki, a real person screws yeah. things up. Well, Nikki, I, it just would be, it's uh, Mike O'Mara Radio Entertainment. Yes. It's somebody who, you know, uh, was fundamental in putting this whole thing together. I, I would... You know, I wouldn't mind you getting that right. That would seem to be something that, at the beginning of your show, we haven't gotten five no. seconds into your show, you know? I got I got the gist of it, I think. <laughs> oh, right, well. I guess we... Well, that's great. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's uh, where he wonderful. takes a call, Mike, because I think the show is going to yeah. be call-driven. Right. Is that the plan, of, Nikki? <clears throat> yeah, right, a lot of call-driven. Traffic right. and weather will not... How long is it, Rob? How long is it? <laughs> it's Rob. Separate. Rob. Exactly the right length. <laughs> How... Uh, it's about this will you're be about fun, 30, aren't you? About yeah, I'm glad you're having fun. Right? Thirty five seconds. Here's Nikki Diamond taking a call. Uh, let's uh, let's go to the phone lines. Uh, who do we got here? Hey, Nikki, it's Lou. Lou here from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, God's country. Oh, oh uh, all right, stop the tape band. for just a sec, yeah. Nikki. Yes, yes, Nikki. Yes. You're doing so. Let me just see what I'm getting here. You're you're pretending to be a call. That's that's you. That's you saying, "Hey, it's Lou." And I, I, what the hell? What's going on? I didn't. Uh, okay, you got me there. You got me there. I. Uh, oh, you were trying to fool us. Yeah, I didn't think. I didn't think you'd notice that. But oh. wow. <laughs> but, but, but I'm confused here, Nikki. Why, if it's a caller-driven show, why are you the caller? Well, I'm giving. <laughs> well, Bermuda boy, I don't have uh, parents building me a studio. And allowing me to call people. Okay, so now you don't need to get testy, myself? Nikki. Nikki, okay. I don't want this to go south. I don't want this to no. go south. You don't need to get oh, testy with Oscar. North, Mike. It's going north. Okay. <laughs> it's going, going north. north. All right. It's nice. <laughs> Just play a little bit. I want to get to the fantasy football. If we can play right, a little yeah. more of his tape. I think and this then is we'll, more with Lou on, we the, get on the Another right, show, first time, long time. Uh, best show on the network. Uh, well, Tony Perkins, then your show. Uh, I got a question. Uh, I need a, uh, a bargain quarterback for this weekend. A uh, good quarterback for a little bit amount of money. <laughs> Hey, that's a very good question, Lou. That's right. how you ask right. questions. Okay. Right. Nikki, that's great. All right, all right, that's great. That's great. That's a great tape. Thank you. That's a that's Thank a great you. tape. Yeah. You've done a really nice job with it. I think that's fantastic. We got to wrap it up and yeah. get right to the uh, picks because yeah. it's fantasy football big weekend. I want to make some money this week, Nikki. I want to do well with with your with sure. your picks. Oscar, you've got one for him. Go ahead. Julio Jones. What do you think? Well, Julio Jones is a no brainer. Uh, he's uh, the best wide receiver in, in fantasy. <laughs> But more importantly, uh, 11 a.m. or 12 noon on Monday, Bermuda Boy, which is better for you? Uh, 12 noon. <laughs> Thank you. You will be interviewing to be my producer. Bring references. All right, um, very good. <laughs> wow. You got anything for him? You got anything for him, Rob? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, trying to do a smart budget here. I know Tom Brady is good. Love to start my quarterback. But is he $9,100 good? Is he going to be worth that investment this week, Nick? He's up against Pittsburgh. You'd love to start him at quarterback. Good thing you don't want to start him at front. Hey, where uh, was the where yeah, was that funny in the air guys. check? There, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I agree with it's that. The best wide receiver good and is the best quarterback good. Yes. I'll put you down for eleven AM. Uh, you'll need more references. All right, I'll be there. Hey, Nikki, Nikki, I got uh, I got LaShawn McCoy again. Is he gonna have another big week? Just curious about that. 
Uh, no, he had his uh, huge week last week. I think he will come back down to earth. But a uh, good question there, Mike. I'll put All right. you down for not producing the show. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate we need it. A pick of the week. We yeah. got pick of the week, Nikki. We got to get honey. Diamond Please. pick of the week. Diamond pick of well, the week. Thank uh, you, the Bengals are in a must-win game. Uh, they're playing the hapless Browns. They've been leaning on Giovanni Bernard more than Jeremy Hill. I think this is the week he totally takes over. He'll have 150 total yards and a touchdown. Your Diamond Pick of the Week from the Nikki Diamond Show on the more broadcasting system entertainment is Giovanni Bernard. All of us are going crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Always a pleasure. Thank you. That's Nikki Diamond, everybody. That's Nikki Diamond. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. He's a regular weekly feature. Yeah, we have to keep him through hockey season. We'll take a break and uh, and come back with more on the uh, Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. Look what the guys on the team gave me. Is that a subscription to the TMO's bonus show? Well, let's try it. It's good stuff, and it's strong. Did you guys know that it's even easier to download from the TMOS app? And it's another fine show from the boys at the Michael Mara Show. I'm sure you'll accept no other. For just pennies a show, you get guaranteed laughs. A safe bet anytime. The Michael Mara Bonus Show. Subscribe today. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the Michael Mara Show, everybody. Brought to you by our new T-shirts. Uh, totally unique and totally TMOS. Uh, TMOS T-shirts on sale now, but only for a limited time. For uh, what what do we have? One day is that what we have? One uh, a full day, full week. Basically? It's a Sunday, Mike. Yeah, it's All a right. Sunday. It's a full week, so you can still get them at MichaelMarishow dot com. Just click the banner. Three awesome designs to choose from. Declare your love for TMOS. Tell the world that you are an American. Proclaim your support for the Mike O'Mara for president. For the Mike O'Mara for president. Nikki Diamond always shakes me up a little bit. I'll well, you know, I, I know that you didn't expect that tape. I'm sorry exactly. about that. Exactly. Uh, can't decide. Get one of each. Uh, beautiful election themed T shirts in every size. And here's the coolest part. If you choose pick up when you order, your shirt or shirts will be waiting for you at the DC Improv on November 5th. We've never done anything like this before. Super cool, super easy. Your shirts will be waiting for you, ready to wear at the live TMOS podcast taping. And if you choose delivery, we'll send them right to your door. Pre order yours right now. Time is of the essence. Right now. Uh, don't miss out. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm lost. I am, I'm Light actually lost in the show. We're fine. Uh, we've got, uh, we, we've we, got we, one we, more segment before news, and we still haven't heard about Oscar's big night. Yes. All right. So it, last night was a debate night, and uh, I just feel like I'm missing a spot. I've got one spot left here. and uh, No, I'm not. No, you have two. No, I'm okay. You're I got it. Go. I got it. Well. Everything's fine. Nikki. Yes. Nikki Diamond. Everything's Light fine. Light him up. So, all right. So debate <laughs> night. The O'Mara family. He's we named are... Barry. He messed yeah. up the commercials. <laughs> I don't understand. My TV has rabbit ears. <laughs> Uh, sorry. The running theme through the show today. Uh, so Oscar said uh, this week that, or last week actually, that he was going to be going to the Trump building, the post office pavilion. Trump International. Trump building. Trump International. Is that what they call it now? Yes. Because in like the mid to late 80s, it was the old post office pavilion, which was the old post office that they turned into like a shopping mall with restaurants and everything. Mm -hmm. And that sort of fell on uh, hard times and he resurrected it. Yes. Right? That's let, let me just say, let me just say, you know, not only on the show, but uh, you boys bring me great joy sometimes in my in my real life, too. How's uh, that? I will tell you. Well, just with, like, for example, uh, you and I having that fun last night riffing about was Name Barry, where we really just were laughing at what we were going to do today. And that's fun to have a job where you can do that. Uh, and then, like, right around that same time, I get a text from Oscar. And Oscar makes me laugh when Oscar's trying to work me. It yeah. makes me laugh out loud. <laughs> and so Oscar at 825 texts me, this place is amazing. It's like a half hour before the debate. He knows that I am ramped up, ready to watch. He knows I'm a political animal. And then he puts a picture of the the bar at the Trump Hotel and he says I, so I write back to him in the only way I can I said that's funny that, uh, and, and you then know he what's writes great that is so predictable from Oscar and somehow it is still so funny it is funny because right that after text that was coming yeah he writes and, and it, it would have been funny if he left it at this and then we got polite uh, he said this place really is first class 
<laughs> it just so I'm laughing looking at this. Uh, he says, "Tomo, Marissa, and Shannon say hi to you and Carla." And I write back, "Have fun." I hear the place is first class, huge, number one, and successful. <laughs> nice. And please don't text me during the debate. And I gave a little smiley face. Yeah, I know everything was uh, a okay. And uh, your plan was my. Here's in a perfect wow. world. This is the way. This is the way I envisioned it. That you would go down there, mm-hmm. being the great contrarian that you are, and you would be after your third or fourth cocktail you would be with no real dog in the fight you would be arguing both sides with people at the bar if that was possible just so looking for defer- trouble looking yeah, for I def- trouble yeah i totally defer to you what was the environment like what was it what was it like last top night? notch mike let me tell you that <laughs> <laughs> as you're driving up the way, and let, this man can build hotels, all right? right. <laughs> Give sure. him that. As there you're driving you up, you're like, what, uh, is, I don't have to. what is that crown jewel in the heart of the nation's capital? It looks like like really nothing else in D.C., like right? What is, that, what is that new building built with Chinese steel? That was my favorite part of the de- debate last night. <laughs> Chinese like steel was my favorite but, part of Mike, the debate. By the way, Mike, sadly, that's a category, so don't Google it. <laughs> politics hey, aside, good. politics yes. aside, right? Yes, I'll try we, to keep we, it aside. We walk in, and you know how I feel. After this entire election cycle... You're, I, nobody's more ready for this to be over. Over, to be over. It's been a you little stressful. Ready. He was ready 14 months ago. Yes. Well, the thing is, Oscar with the Big O and Duke show and with this show, has take both two, sides. two hosts from both sides, yes. and uh, you know. And anyway, uh, yeah, and please Torn pass along my congratulations to your radio <laughs> partner. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, so anyway, I just uh, I you ready walk for in, this to be over. We yes. want to get there at eight. I call ahead, and this is a, a quick sidebar. The number for the post office pavilion goes to a home phone number. It doesn't actually go to the Trump International Hotel. On Google, so when you go on Google, like Post Office Pavilion, if you call that that uh, that number, a guy named Grant answers. He used to manage <laughs> the pavilion, and his number is posted on Google. So I said, "That's I, a pretty big screw up for oh, a yeah. big operation oh, like yeah. that." So he and I said, "Sir, do you mind? I, look, I, we do. Uh, I said a, a national radio show. Why are you so?" Like kind and happy about this. I'm so sorry for calling. He goes. Yeah, how well, many calls do you think he's got? He goes by the, <laughs> but he goes by the 500th time. I just can't get upset anymore. I was like, I used to work there for 27 years. He's yeah. an old guy. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Oh no. Wow. You know that used to happen to my uncle all the time. His name was Richard Carlton, and he was in the phone book as R. Carlton, and he'd get calls all the time for the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and when you so get the, to be after 70 and it happens all the time, he would say, well, is there anything I can help you with? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what he that said. Was his attitude. Oh I said, God. can you tell me about the hotel bar? He's like, yeah, I, I was there. I was there building. Like, he's laying it out for me. That is hysterical. <laughs> that is so, he was so cool about yeah, it. He said, let me give you their number to make sure uh, that you can actually get in at what time. I don't know what it's laid out, especially for tonight's debate. He he's knew, helping you. Yeah, he's <laughs> like giving you information. That's so <laughs> great. They, they should give the guy some money for that. That's yes. incredible. That's so he great. gives you the number. I call ahead. I said, look, um, I don't know if you take reservations for four. I, I've, I've never been to the establishment. Can you give Can you give me a heads up at what time we should arrive? She said, arrive about an hour early, may, maybe an hour and a half. I said, okay. You're gives, planning on going right to the bar, right? Yes, yes. Oh, and shocking. You walk in, <laughs> and we arrived around 8.15, right? And, For a and, 9 and, o'clock debate. And, uh, and Todd and his wonderful girlfriend, Marissa, are there early. And they said, apparently 8 wasn't early enough because... What we didn't know is that all the, they have these wonderful couches laid out in the full bar. Certain areas were already reserved by the guests of Trump International, right? So oh. everything said, said reserved, 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 reserved. And this is the best looking group of people I've ever seen in D.C. in my life. In <laughs> my life. Like they, they hired now- models to go. It's like, it's like it was all orchestrated because... They knew that the press was going to be there. Sure. They knew that it was the best looking crew of people so that I have did, ever seen in it, one place. Is, is this a Trump uh, rooting section that you're getting because it's his hotel, or well, is this I'll, a mix I'll, of I will of get there, people? right? Okay, very good. I will get there. There's a guy dressed like Trump, 
I don't know if he's mocking him or he's actually pro Trump. Like, it, you mean he has like a mask on or just a bad fitting suit? No, he's got a suit. He's he's got his face painted like with tan tanner on. He's got a hat that said "Make America Great Again." Like it is a cosplay. scene. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna blow off the news because I want to hear about this. <laughs> All right. Okay, I will blow off the news today. I rarely do that, but I will. Uh, you know, it's uh, much effort put in, and uh, hey, I can always do it tomorrow. Uh, today's news will be tomorrow on the Mike O'Mara show. No, I'm not gonna do it like that. We'll come back and finish this story uh, right here. You are listening to the Mike O'Mara a show we're caught up thank you hello hello it's me pedro i don't have much to say but i want to tell you that while i ride my bike to school i like to listen to the cake and cookie show with rob and katie they're really good i was looking for a podcast about putting cakes or something and it wasn't until a few episodes in that i realized that cake and cookies wasn't about cake or cookies but i still like rob and katie so i still listen you can find them on iTunes or on the Michael Mayer Show app. I'm feeling really hot. I'm going to go home and lie down. Cake and cookies. Rob and Katie. It's the Rob and Katie Show. Welcome back to the Michael Mayer Show. Hey, losers. What? <laughs> yeah, we're all losers. Newsweek says that the average American spends 55 minutes a day looking for things they own but can't find. We all have tracker yes let me tell you about it you lose your keys you find them you use your bag you find it you you use your wallet you can find it tracker makes losing things a thing of the past and listen up i'm about to tell you how you can get one free Mm. listen to this tracker is a coin sized device that can find anything in seconds just pair tracker to your smartphone attach it to anything and you can find its precise location with the tap of a button it's that easy and if you lose your phone hit the button on tracker and your phone will ring even if it's on silent that's the great thing about it it goes both both ways tracker is finding over a million misplaced items each day order yours and you'll never lose anything again plus our listeners get a free tracker bravo with any order nice. you get one for free just go to the tracker.com that's t-h-e tracker.com and enter the promo code t-m-o-s the hardest thing you'll ever have to find is their website go to the tracker.com right now and enter promo code t-m-o-s for your free tracker bravo with any order again that's the tracker.com Dot com promo uh, code TMOS. Yeah, uh, we're going to uh, blow off the news here. I had uh, Madonna talking about giving uh, Madonna. oral favors. Madonna. Uh, we can cover that in the audio vault if you like. Got that. We got uh, <laughs> Ellen's happy in her marriage. This is why I don't mind blowing off the news yes. today. Uh, Cleveland won, and they're going to the World Series. Congratulations to the city of Cleveland. Good day for them. Uh, Angelina Jolie is mad because Brad Pitt is talking to John Boyd. And let me see. Uh, London will have some. Yeah, I don't mind blowing this news That's off. Fine. London's right. going to have somebody do your own Christmas tree. And then a guy in Canada. Held into a sporting goods store and stole $120,000 uh, <laughs> worth of hockey sticks. I'm, and then at the end of that, good. he said, what the puck? <laughs> okay, thank you. There it is. There. Well yeah, done. Normally, I can't well do done. that, but I figured I'd knock that well out today. Done. All well right. Done. Another so, newscast with John Voigt. You are a one-trick pony. <laughs> this is, this is, a, it is our post on the Michael Mara Show, where Oscar was at the Post Office Pavilion Hotel, Trump owned by Donald Trump International. Yeah, Mike, Sorry. get it right. Make sure I get it right. Trump International is so big, so successful, and you're there in the bar. Yes. Did you did you get we, seating? We get seating because the girls they're industrious and they're beautiful, and they go and ask a uh, gentleman and his wife if there's if the entire couch has room for a few more people, and they said, please join us. Maybe you'll get the waiter's attention, which was big cool. TVs right? everywhere. Uh, no, no, today? just at the bar. That's what, that oh. was a little shocking, but the sound, as far as the audio, was being pushed throughout the atrium. Loud, oh, cool. loud enough for yeah, everybody loud to, to, hear. to hear. Big, yes. echoing sniffs. I, I have so many uh, <laughs> questions. Conversation cease once the uh, debate began? For the most part, yes, unless people were rooting every time Trump had a zinger. It ah, was so, that had to be. And it, 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 <laughs> no, it was. You made it like, maybe, maybe, maybe my view on Trump is different. Maybe I should start looking in, into this. You get this melee of applause and jeers and reporters, and this is why they killed witches in Salem. <laughs> So, so it, well, it was a decidedly, obviously, at that place, a Trump crowd. Mike, yes, it was a Trump crowd, and like I it's said his before, hotel. Uh, yeah. like I said before, I don't know if he hired models or bu- or, or trained them down on Did the cellar. Did it look like that a little bit? Did it These, look like a planted crowd? I've never seen women walk through a hotel lobby with their hips. 
like they're on the runway. Wow. That's the way it was. <laughs> and I said, this is a, this is not what I was expecting at all. By a, the way, if you want to get Oscar out to the voting booth, uh, they may have succeeded. Yes. He, he may have uh, succeeded getting him yeah. out. With I'm red gonna... hot voting proctors and <laughs> cocktail dresses. <laughs> That's right. I had multiple drinks. Uh, pricey. That I, I, I was on the fence about ordering the what cheese w- tower, $57. <laughs> Oh. What, were you you what? what were the you drinking? What were you drinking? We were. Uh, we switched up. I think we uh, ordered a Postmaster, which is a Prosecco, uh, some sort of vodka, and another liquor that I can't even remember. Twelve at this bucks point. each. I, I, I'll tell you this: the the tab. Did you order the cheese tower? <laughs> no, no, we ordered a hanger steak instead and oh, ate it right steak. there at the couch. Yeah. Right, Invented the cheese the tower. I thought that was the Taj Mahal and ready. Am I right, ladies? In my pants. <laughs> we're, we were interviewed by national press when we were hammered, and, <laughs> and that oh, may boy. not bode well. I'll tell you that much. What because organization? She uh, she came up. It might have been Newsweek, right? Might have been. Might have been Newsweek. <laughs> right. And uh, Todd was like Todd and I were actually, you know, drunk arguing about the these these talking points. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Back right. Back and okay. forth. <laughs> were, now, were you were you being a contrarian well, or cause, were you? Because Todd's uh, undecided, right? He's undecided, and I'm sitting there, which I, is understandable oh, at this point in the race. And I love <laughs> that's tough. I love, but I look again. I love needling people. That's what I do for a living. You've right? done it to oh, me oh for the God. entire season, but at the same time, I've uh, I've adhered to your philosophy yes. that this is a place for an escape, and that's yeah. why the whole political persuasions where I get to vent, and you know, and I've gotten. I think you will agree, I've gotten over it. I just don't come here and feel the need to do that. But I'm a I'm watching every minute of this last night. So it was amazing. I, I go into this as the uh, the young ladies. So who are you going for? And I said, look, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. As far as an, as an immigrant, I'm going to vote for uh, Hillary Clinton, right? And right. I tell her that, and I break into like like two or three points, and I said, and I want to leave you with this, MichaelMaraShow.com. And she- No, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. And she said, Atta boy. Atta boy. And she said a shameless plug, really? And then Todd's like, <laughs> I'm undecided. And Todd really had some great points, right? And at, sure. the, at the end, he's- He's he- Todd Berry. <laughs> I'm undecided at this time. <laughs> I don't understand how anybody's going to- Come on now. You. <laughs> And at the end, Todd's like, and I want to leave you with one more point, MichaelMaraShow.com. So, <laughs> so you guys are baked. We are hammered. We are the two people you don't want to talk to because, A, probably halfway through, it just became more about getting the waiter sure, than right. actually watching. But I got I to gotta, I gotta really give it up to him. Politics aside, I never thought that building could look that nice in my life, man. In my let life. me ask this. Let me ask this. Uh, the uh, the women that were there that you, that you say may or may not have been plants. Did they smart PR appear, move? Did they appear to be paired off? Did they uh, did they appear as couples or were the women kind of single and hanging around this area? When what they, did it look like? It I know looked, you checked that. It out. looked like they were. A group of single ladies that were all tens. All the single ladies. Right? <laughs> sitting up, sitting, <laughs> sitting on the couch. Ca- all, the, all the single ladies. All, all the single ladies. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. And then some looked to be with, uh, they were there with their husbands. A, a lot of uh, May, December right. romances. You're a business yeah. guy, as Trump is a business yes. guy. Yes. And so if Trump's people organized good looking people to be at this legend okay i'm just saying if. i've never seen so many good looking people but in i'm DC. saying this <laughs> okay do you think that there were enough people and enough people of import in the lobby that bussing in good looking people would make a difference ah uh, because you know great, he's about roi that's a great question that, that i'll tell you this that at eight fifteen, if you got there any later you weren't going to be able to get a seat so it was packed. it was jammed and right? that's a big room yeah it was jammed and were there any uh were there any hillary supporters in the room were didn't there any he, ba- didn't were, were people making noise about hillary anytime hillary made uh all the hillary made- supporters were ordering the cheese <laughs> 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 ah. mike anytime she made a point there were no there there were no smattering of applause or right. okay. it, it, this was a Trump crowd. This okay. was a Trump right. crowd. Well, and he's also more, he lends himself more to the zingers too. Yes. You know, but, the zingers and running down our democracy. That's okay. right. Mike, I'm sorry. Mike, that's, Mike, it. That's, that's it. No, I'm sorry. Hello. That's it. No, wrong. I'm sorry. Wrong. I'm sorry. Wrong. No. 
I'll do, I'll do it my best Alex Jones voice. Also, accept the decision of the American people. You must do that, or you're the Antichrist. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you very uh, much. We closed. I didn't. I don't think I got home to like one thirty. Right. Sure. Atta boy. So- Way to go. <laughs> and did you did you did you see any real like? Uh, Kool-Aid drinkers for, you know, Trump with the hats or anything uh, like yeah, that. Lot, Tell me lot, more about the cosplay guy. Uh he was he was a younger guy <laughs> right. that had uh an American um flag uh, <laughs> coat and pants on. <laughs> and he had, <laughs> had like the Trump hair wig yeah. no. and the Make America Great hat on. Right. Okay. And was so he there was he there about himself though, or was he a hire? I think he was there because his group he was there like with his parents. Like he was there, like he oh, was named Barry. <laughs> <laughs> like he was with a fan, and it was also interesting seeing all the reporters there from all the different outlets, because they were like in the little press corridor that was just basically the satellite bar, right? Because I bet you, I bet they can't get there super early and just sit around, mm-hmm. right? And you could see them as soon as the debate was wrapping up, they you see them just go into the crowd to talk to get some some sort of response. Of what, what just went down. Right, yeah. But wow. as far as, and I think Todd put it best on Facebook, he said, we're here to, to watch the fight tonight. It yeah. is like a fight night. <laughs> oh, yeah. it, was, it was more promoted like a uh, prize fight than anything I've ever, yep. ever seen. Now, the one moment as the debate watcher, and as somebody, everybody knows what team I play for, I am watching. One thing that got me going, and it was, it, and the press picked up on it big time, bigly. And the thing is, when I watched this, when he said he would not, uh, re- he would not accept. He wouldn't commit to accepting the results of the election. Was there anything at all there, or were you too loaded? Well, I, I, at the very end. At yeah. the very end. Yeah, I was. It came at the very end. Yeah. It was, oh, by yeah. the way, I think I, the one thing I will say uh, from Fox News, Chris Wallace. I would be perfectly content to have Chris Wallace moderate every debate Ditto. from, from, from this point Absolutely. forward. He was he great. Had, he, you know what? That, the, I'll tell you, whatever they're paying him, at, pay him more because the guy did. He asked her the tough questions. He asked Trump the tough questions. He cited quotes, thought, everything. Yeah, he was fantastic. He had his act together. But, you know, when they start screaming at each other, it's tough to do that. Yeah. Uh, but I just that was the big moment. So, uh, like at a sporting event. You know that as soon as that whistle blows, everybody's mm-hmm. running to the parking lot, right? Or the mm-hmm. restroom. Yeah. So as the clock was winding down, Santana said it's time to take a leak because sure. as soon as this is over, everybody's going to jam the restroom. So you probably missed it. it I was probably the, missed it. But it I was su- the, it, I was sitting on my yes. couch. It yeah, was yeah. the only time during yeah. the entire debate where I actually yelled at the television. Yep. I actually yelled at the Infuriating. And- it was. It really. It was. It, for for the other team, I, I, it was very. And, and I came back, and Todd's like, "You missed it." And I said, "Dude, oh, okay. Look okay. at that line." <laughs> I said, "I didn't miss anything. I won. That's it. Right. Make America pee again. Yeah. That's it. That's He's good Oscar stuff. Barry. I'm gonna <laughs> go right here. Ask me how much the tab was. And Mike, what was your total tab oh, when you closed? Oh my God! Let me tell you, they have happy hour specials. This is four, four people, four people. Uh, having a little snack, One snacky evening. snack. Where it was now, the hanger steak sounds like an entree. Is that a full Shan dinner? And I, or? Shannon and I hadn't eaten dinner. We hadn't. So we, you actually had, had an entree. What was the uh, total tab after uh, drinks? One and, entree and, and then drinks for four right? people. Yeah. Four hundred and eight dollars. Oh! <laughs> Chinese steel. Wow. Oh, Brutal. that's awesome. Brutal. Oh, my God. Well, that's great. Great update. And uh, make America eat again. That's wonderful. <laughs> we'll take a break and uh, come back with the audio vault and Rob Spiewak right here on the Michael. Man- <laughs> hey, Rob Spiewak, when you go to the beach, what are your three favorite things to do? Oh, well, I'd love to go swimming in the ocean, of course. I love the girls on the beach. They're always in reach. And I always love listening to 97 won the Wave, your beach station. Was that three things or four things? I think it was three. Ah, shut up! It's the Mike O'Mara Show. What the hell are we doing? Anyway, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Brought to you by Vistaprint. Vistaprint is the best. And this is the great deal right now. 500 business cards for $9.99. When you enter the promo code TMOS at checkout. 500 cards under 10 bucks. Rob's got one for us right now. Take it I away, want to Rob. say hi to the Burquists, Scott and Leanne Burquist of Fredericksburg, Virginia. They own the Brew Shop. And they have two different style cards. Where that, is it? Where's the brew shop located? It's uh, 11047 Pearson Drive, Suite A, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Fredericksburg, down in uh, Mary yeah. Washington country. That's uh, wonderful. Yeah, but the year 
Because it has to do with beer. It's a quality <laughs> homebrew supplies. Two beautiful cards, one in black, one in white. Both two-sided cards that promote their company, and they use their own logo. Cool. Vistaprint makes it so easy. If you have your own logo, your own picture, you drag it, you drop it, it's there. And they Send along it. your uh, Vistaprint card. We might put it on the show. Vistaprint cards make it easy and affordable to make a great first. Every one of us has designed a card at Vistaprint, and guess what? It's easy, 100% user-friendly, and it always looks great. Remember to use the code TMOS at Vistaprint.com, and you'll get 500 business cards for $9.99. That is a 50% savings. Vistaprint.com and TMOS, they go great together. Do it today, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, let's open up the audio vault for Thursday, October 20, 2016. Take it away, Rob. It was in the back of my mind, but did you know that ever since the 1930s, Bob Hope owned a pretty big piece of the Cleveland Indians? Oh, wow. I had no idea. And that Bing that. Crosby owned a piece of the Pirates. Ba, 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 ba. And so, they, uh, so that pretty obviously cool. was a good investment for Bob Hope. Uh, hey, Gary. Gary, I brought you home a baseball <laughs> Hey, I brought a so- bike baseball bat home for you, Gary. You, you know, you better know. I'm going to give you what fur. Hey. We're going to learn a new game in the backyard. It's called Close Your Eyes and Try to Catch. I got a fastball. Hey, bingo. Yes, sir. Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, Pirate has an eye patch. Why are you wearing yours, Gary? All right, go ahead. All let's right. uh, let's get to the audio. All right, I like this piece. This is kind of cool. They haven't been to the uh, the they haven't won a World Series in 68 years. Great Cleveland, year for Cleveland sports, mm-hmm. man. They beat Toronto last night 3-0. Found this on the uh on YouTube. This is kind of neat. Two balls, two strikes. Here it comes. In the air. Foul territory. The Cleveland Indians are going to the World Series. Good for them. That's great so sports cool. town. Yeah. That is a truly Good great sports town. What a year for the state of Ohio and Cleveland in particular. They had the convention there. They have the uh, NBA championship, and now they're going to the World Series. Great. It's, it's great. Fantastic. I think it's fantastic. And if it's Cleveland and the Cubs, oh, my God. I know. I know. But I, not, not looking like that's going to happen. But we'll no. see what happens. I'm behind home plate. Um, <laughs> Eating an ice cream sundae. Uh, a lot of the guys that I went to uh, college with in turn. 12 nbc 12 in richmond and this clip was all over the place yesterday you really laugh when you think of the movie anchorman do they really read the teleprompter exactly what's mm-hmm. written right so this <laughs> guy do. some of the dumb ones do this guy was trying to uh do a story about a recall on rice cookers okay okay and uh, he read what was in front of him check your panties about one hundred seventy-five thousand rice i think that was supposed to be pantries <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't warn you before I saw it, and I couldn't <laughs> warn you, Eric. I'm just so... About 175,000... Now, what's, I have okay. to say this, okay. that it's so a he's dumb. He's dumb, and that's why he's going on and not not taking the moment because he doesn't have the brain no. for it. So. And so while the the two shot goes on, the old weatherman will eventually stick his head in because he gets it. This is funny. Are okay. being recalled due to fire and electric shock <laughs> hazards. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> Just go ahead and say, just say hello to the internet. Hi, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) So go home and check your panties. Check Um, your panties. And you see, Mike, those moments really happen. From the entire Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. (laughs) yourself, San Diego. (laughs) And guess who is still sort of relevant? Ken Bone. The, the Kimmel company had him covering the debate last night. So Ken Bone So was even on with Kimmel. all the bad stuff he did online, he still, uh, that, that didn't catch hold. So, no. it's a, so he's a creep. Green, Mike. That's it right. Bad stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a Kimmel it. talking to Ken Bone after the debate last night. You've already explained and apologized for what you wrote on Reddit, so I won't make you go through that again. <laughs> but I do have to ask Jimmy. one question. Was that how your wife found out you like to look at naked celebrities online through that story? Uh, Jimmy, she found out all great American wives through the door. (laughs) (laughs) Have you washed that sweater yet? (laughs) Well, Jimmy, I I must have because it's shrinking. (laughs) (laughs) And he actually followed up. He asked Ken Bone. He's, oh, by the way. Hi, Mike. Uh, who is he going to vote for? And Ken Bone will not reveal who he's going to vote for. Well, Jimmy, I think you should probably listen to the Internet. I'm not trustworthy. Uh, I have not decided. After I have decided, I promise I'm not going to tell anyone, even though I love you. You're never going to tell anyone. Why? Well, once I tell anyone who I'm voting for, I kind of lose my opportunity to just say get out. 
care who you vote for. I just want everybody to get to the polls and make their voice heard. And if you listen to the fat guy from St. Louis, you're not listening to your own heart and conscience. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, despite his Mark, bad week following a great cool. week, he did okay. You know, I, you, you, I hear that and I say to myself, man, there are there are mega celebrities that wouldn't handle their own oh, PR. Oh, yeah, like they go guy. into hiding. Mm -hmm. right? They go into hiding. He owned it. Yes. He owned it, and it goes away, and he's still making money going yeah. on national TV. More power to the guy. But, and but, what he did was just a little creepy, we're but all not, pervy not in completely. Our yeah. not complete, a little pervy, but not yeah. over the top. Right? But I will say he also. Not like little, grabbing somebody's badge. I think there was some stress <laughs> eating because that uh, that sweater looked like it was losing a battle last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was tight in the debate. It was tight in the debate. All right, let us right. close with this. I like this. If you want to vote and you don't want to vote for the big two, another candidacy was released. Waka Waka Flame and Ric Flair. I'm now introducing the perfect running mate. Nature Boy Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Me and Wacka Flap. What is the female population of the world thinking about right now? Are you kidding me? You can have Wacka Flap and the Nation Boy on the same ticket now. <laughs> Register to vote. We won't lose. Wacka Flap. Woo! 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 And the Nature Boy all night long. <laughs> Flare Flame 16. Make America. Woo! Again. <laughs> and I, I do believe I misspoke. The name is Waka Flocka Flame. Waka management, Flocka Flame. Management regrets the error. That's Thank your you. Magic Audio Vault. Have a great Thursday, everybody. That's it. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Be sure and join us every day on the air or online at MikeO'MaraShow.com to mail us anything that doesn't stink or all the nice stuff you guys send us. Our address is TMOS, Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. All messages and birthday requests for our weekly mailbag can be sent to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Got our T-shirts for sale for just a couple of days with yeah, the pre-order. There are three of them. You'll love one of them. We'd love to see you wear it at the uh, D.C. Improv on November 5th. Get your T-shirts at MikeOmeraShow.com. Dot com. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara reminding you to join us again for your favorite part of the day, the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. One last thing. Please remember that MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. So shop Amazon and get there through our website. Always open at MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon. Now, go in peace. Hi, Mike. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>